What's that? We're going to talk about something that's less expensive in Disney World? You bet we are, and it is tasty, too. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog. Whether you're traveling to the Disney parks with a big group or flying solo, it can be difficult to manage your dining budget. You can wind up dropping hundreds of bucks on a meal or rack up a serious bill just by snacking. Totally not speaking from personal experience here or anything. Ready to satisfy your Disney snacking while sticking to a budget? I'm about to unpack 25 snacks that you can get for under $5. Yeah, not kidding. Those still exist even with all the price increases recently. It's a miracle. Now, if you find yourself going hold up, I love all of these treats and I wish AJ would give me just a PDF download so I can remember them all, then I have great news for you. Just go to DisneyFoodBlog.com slash $5 snacks and drop us your email. We'll send you the 25 snacks to your inbox and also get you all signed up for our DFB newsletter that's totally free. Okay, we're going to start over in Hollywood Studios with the Lunchbox Tarts. Am I about to start this video by fangirling over a fancy Pop-Tart? Well, yes, yes, I am. In Toy Story Land, you can find the Lunchbox Tarts over at Woody's Lunchbox. Lunchbox at Lunchbox. Yeah, easy to remember. The Lunchbox Tarts come in a few different flavors like lemon, blueberry, chocolate, hazelnut, and raspberry, but you're not going to get them all at the same time. They do seasonally slot these in and out. Around the holidays, you might be able to find these snacks dressed up for the season with limited releases like the Halloween Lunchbox Tart and the cinnamon apple holiday lunchbox tart. Despite this treat being a direct descendant of the Pop-Tart family, which has been known to cause a cavity or two in the past, I'm almost certain, the lunchbox tarts are one of few Disney desserts that aren't overly sugary, just sugary enough to satisfy your sweet tooth for $4.29. Now we're gonna hang out a bit longer at Woody's Lunchbox to grab something more on the savory side of things. Let me introduce you to potato barrels, AKA tater tots. For some, I don't know why Disney doesn't say tater tots. Maybe it's like registered trademark or something, but anyway, they're potato barrels here. Now these might not seem as exciting as the tachos or tater tot nachos that you can also grab here, but if you're looking for a smaller portion or someone in your party isn't all that into chili cheese toppings, then the plain Jane potato barrels could be a good alternative for $3.49 because even plain, these little barrels will give you that salty punch you might be craving and they're great for kiddos who maybe don't want all those toppings. That being said, it wouldn't be very on brand for me to recommend that you eat plain tater tots, so of course I'm going to ask you to jazz these babies up with a DFB staple, plastic cheese. You didn't see that coming, did you? No, okay. You can get a side of cheese sauce at Woody's Lunchbox for $1, which still brings the total price of this cheesy carby goodness to under five bucks. You didn't think I'd leave you hanging. Now, if you're a DFB fan, you've probably heard me talk about this next snack a handful of times because this snack and me, we're basically married. I'm just kidding, please don't tell my husband. Now, over at Trolley Car Cafe, the Starbucks location in Disney's Hollywood Studios, you'll not only be able to get your caffeine fix, but you will also get to meet the beautiful carrot cake cookie. This the treat is made with two carrot cake cookies, which are really more like mini slabs of cake glued together with a thick cream cheese icing, making the sweet and moist cookie sandwich. Now it's basically, that icing isn't just like sugary. This is solid lardy frosting. It is incredible. You never find this kind of frosting outside of like a birthday cake these days. So I adore it. Now this cookie is definitely shareable. When I get mine, I usually cut it into four pieces and I eat one piece for breakfast every morning. So if you and someone in your family are craving something sweet, then you can grab this old time favorite for $4.99. Now that's right. Used to be $3.99, didn't it? Absolutely. Yep. That was a victim of the price increases, but it's still under $5 technically minus taxes. Next on our list, the Glimmer and Shimmer Blondie. All right, let's look at a 50th anniversary snack and a beautiful one. The Glimmer and Shimmer Blondie was introduced along with 150 plus other eats for Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary celebration that kicked off on October 1st, 2021. We ate them all. It was quite a day. Now you'll notice that many of the desserts that debuted in Disney's Hollywood Studios have that Glimmer and Shimmer title attached to them, which makes sense considering the park is based on the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. We've seen gold dipped Oreos, sparkling drinks, gloss chocolate mousse, and several other ornate desserts here, but one of the best can be found at Backlot Express and Fairfax Fair. The Glimmer and Shimmer Blondie is a toffee and toasted coconut blondie with salted caramel buttercream, gold sprinkles, and a chocolate 50th anniversary crest. The blondie is moist and gooey and well complemented by the combination of salted caramel buttercream, not enough buttercream, but at least it's there, and toffee, and it's another big treat for under five bucks. This one's $4.49 to be exact. As a tiny warning, this thing is real sweet. But if you're someone who prefers non-chocolatey desserts and would rather tango with coconut and caramel, then you can dance the night away with this one. It is so good. All right, moving into Epcot, 
We're gonna start with bread, because you should always start with bread. Tucked near the back of the France Pavilion in Epcot is Léal Boulangerie Patisserie, and this little counter service provides freshly baked pastries, desserts, sandwiches, and a handful of other quick bites that'll make you go, oh, I should've been stopping here for my Epcot snacks all these years. Yes, yes, you should have. Now, if you're on the lookout for a cheap, filling, shareable, super carby snack, you are in luck. You can get a full-size baguette, and by full-size, I mean like giant, for just $3.50. And if a full baguette is too much, you can order a half portion for $2.25, but I'm super not gonna judge you if you decide to go for the full and wield it like a lightsaber. Bread lightsaber, that's something I need. Again, absolutely no personal experience here whatsoever. And if you need something sweet after, eating a giant baguette, then Layal has an entire bakery case filled with fancy French fare. Honestly, I can't choose a single dessert here. Many of the desserts featured in this case are under five bucks and are delicious. Beignets, creme brulee, chocolate mousse, Napoleons. Don't get me started. I'm about to read the entire menu now, but just basically browse and see what catches your eye and what you want to try. Or maybe even sample a few. The power is in your hands. Now, if you were to ask me what my top five things are about the Germany Pavilion in Epcot, Caramel Kusha would take the first four spots. The fifth can be Beer Garden Restaurant just for the polka. It's hard to go wrong with any of the treats from Caramel Kusha. You can grab a caramel square with 50th anniversary sprinkles, a chocolate and caramel covered Mickey Marshmallow, a caramel pecan cluster, caramel butter bar, and a bunch of different and delicious cookies like the beloved caramel apple cookie, all for less than $5 each. Sidebar though, I want to give the caramel butter bar a moment in the spotlight. I know you're gonna be enticed by the caramel apples and the caramel popcorn, but the caramel butter bar is an unsung dessert that's a serious hit. It's made with shortbread, caramel, and butter. Tons and tons of butter. It may not be the prettiest girl in school, but it's definitely a winner in my book. Also, pro tip, as of September, Caramel Kusha uses mobile order. That means you don't have to wait in line to get your caramel fix, though waiting in line to smell all the caramel might be enticing. Just pull it up on your My Disney Experience app and boom, caramel, right at your fingertips. Side note, I've said caramel so many times in this section that the word is starting to sound weird, and I want you all to be very, very proud of me because I say caramel. I don't say caramel. And I know you guys like me to say caramel, so I'm saying caramel, so you are welcome. There we go. Now, continuing around the World Showcase, we're gonna stop for a savory snack in the China Pavilion. At Joy of Tea, you can find, yeah, well, tea. I'm not a food expert for nothing, but you can also find specialty cocktails like the all-popular Tipsy Ducks in Love and Kanto Loopy. And there's the simple savory snack, the pork egg rolls that we love so much. You can get two egg rolls for a quick afternoon snack. Take that, Magic Kingdom spring rolls. It cost $9.50 for two. I'm just kidding, spring rolls, I still love you. And this isn't the most unique or adventurous option you're gonna find in the park, but it's easy and it works for most picky eaters. But heads up, sometimes Joy of Tea has really, really good curry chicken pockets. I haven't seen them in a while, but if they've got them when you're there, get these instead of the egg rolls. All right, now back to the sweet stuff. Kringla Bakery Og Cafe in the Norway Pavilion has a handful of staple Epcot snacks for under $5. There's no denying that school bread is a popular option here. It is one of my favorites with its sweet custard filled in coconut dipped pastry. It's sure to entice passersby, but don't let it distract you for some of the other goodies here. But if for some some reason you've just eaten school bread and you want another treat and not another school bread, which I don't understand why you would not want another school bread, but if you want to try something else from the case, it's okay, I won't judge you. Lefsa is another solid and simple choice that's good for some people. It's a soft flat bread topped with cinnamon, sugar, and butter all rolled up for an easy snack. I haven't loved this in the past, but some of you adore it, so I'm definitely going to include it in this video. Fans of apple strudel might enjoy the eplikake. I just listened on the the internet how to say that correctly um, and Frederick from Norway taught me this is a dense apple cake topped with caramel there we go caramel drizzle and caramel syrup also for less than five bucks you can order a troll horn a puff pastry filled with orange marmalade cream sometimes it's lingonberry cream which is really really good if it's lingonberry cream all simple yet very effective other cheap options include Verdon's best cake or I guess kake now that I know how applicake is pronounced rice cream so good and a classic Classic. I've been talking about rice cream and writing about rice cream since the like 90s and the triple chocolate chip cookie. All right, right over to Magic Kingdom. Are you ready, everybody on the monorail? Okay, cinnamon sugar donut holes. When Magic Kingdom tempts you with cinnamon sugar donut holes, say yes, do not pass go, don't collect $200, just get the donut holes. You can grab some cinnamon sugar donut holes around breakfast time at Friar's Nook in Fantasyland for $4.99. You can also find them as a dessert option from Pecos Bill Tall Tale Inn and Cafe in Frontierland for $5.29. Ah, the price we pay for waiting to get our cinnamon sugar donut holes after breakfast. Wherever and whenever you decide to order 
consider them, these are a quick and easy snack for under five bucks in Magic Kingdom. Now, I love this next one. Burnt out on french fries? Even if the immediate answer is no, AJ, are you out of your mind? I will never be burnt out on french fries. I agree, viewer, but I'd still like you to consider the Hush Puppies at Columbia Harbor House in Liberty Square as a solid substitute. They are crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside, and savory all around. Plus, they pair especially well with all types of seafood, so you might want to add an order alongside your lobster roll or your Sea Captain Catch entree. You can grab an order of the Hush Puppies for $4.49, and I'm telling you, this is a hidden gem. Where else are you gonna get hush puppies in a theme park? All right, popcorn bucket refill. Whether you're an avid Disney popcorn bucket collector or you're just grabbing one for the sole purpose of carrying popcorn in, you're already one step closer to getting a classic snack for cheaper throughout your entire vacation. The reusable buckets can cost you between 12 and $18, depending on the design and demand. So yes, you do have to pay more than five bucks to unlock access for this cheap snack. But once you do, you can get refills of popcorn in your collectible popcorn bucket for $2.50 every single time. This is a great way to stay consistent with your food budget while snacking around the parks. Popcorn refills aren't just available in Magic Kingdom. You can get your popcorn refilled in all the parks at select locations. And sometimes you can even get flavored popcorn as a refill. Okay, we're headed to Animal Kingdom next. And don't worry, I know you're you're probably like, AJ, there's other snacks in Magic Kingdom for under $5. Well, of course there are, viewer, I know. But we're not gonna talk about every single snack under $5. We're gonna talk to you about new, different snacks that maybe you don't know about that could be a new must get for you and your family. If you wanna know about all the snacks in Disney World, including all the snacks under $5, over $5, then you wanna head over to dfbstore.com right now and pick up our snack guides. We have three. One of them is dedicated to Magic Kingdom, one is dedicated to Epcot, and one is dedicated to Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom. And we have literally every single snack in those guides with a picture, a review, the price tag, everything's in there for you. So definitely go check out those snack guides. That helps you decide what's good, what you wanna try, and what you wanna save your stomach space and your budget for. Okay, Animal Kingdom, like I said, we're gonna start with mac and cheese, of course. There are several locations in Disney World where you can find that golden, savory, and noodly macaroni and cheese that I love so much, but I'm highlighting two spots where you can snag it for less than five bucks. Now, in this particular case, I think this is probably one of the best snacks in Walt Disney World. In Disney's Animal Kingdom, Eight Spoon Cafe is known for its variations of baked mac and cheese. And I'm talking mac and cheese topped with pulled pork and on occasion, sweet chili shrimp. Well, right now you can get an order of, of the plain baked mac and cheese for $4.49. It is hearty, delicious comfort food. It's sure to fill you up. This isn't just craft mac and cheese. This is like gourmet mac and cheese and it's in snack form. But keep in mind that you may not want something as heavy as mac and cheese on an especially hot day in Disney World, or you could just tell me I'm wrong. That's okay. I I want this mac and cheese every day. Though mac and cheese might be a popular item at Eight Spoon Cafe, Disney's Animal Kingdom isn't the only park where you can find baked mac and cheese for less than five bucks. If we slip back into Epcot real quick, sorry Animal Kingdom, we will be back shortly. Regal Eagle Smokehouse opened in Epcot's America Pavilion back in 2022. This quick service spot serves up some great barbecue, but their side of baked mac and cheese doesn't just demand attention, it deserves it. The mac and cheese is topped with an herby toasted panko topping, adding a nice crunch to an otherwise creamy dish. All for $4.99. Okay, one last cheesy noodly goodness to wrap up this point. Sometimes this baked and custardy mac and cheese can also be found at the Summerfest quick service tucked away at the back of the pavilion. When available, we've seen this one priced at around $4.29. Okay, back to Animal Kingdom, and we're gonna talk about onion rings. So let's talk about another solid barbecue place in Disney World, Flame Tree Barbecue in Disney's Animal Kingdom. But we're not exactly gonna be talking about the barbecue here. We're gonna be talking about onion rings, the best friend of the barbecue entree. Here you can get an onion ring basket for $4.49. Now, I like to order the onion ring basket along with the baked mac and cheese here. The Flame Tree Barbecue baked mac and cheese comes piled with pulled pork, coleslaw, and one onion ring to rule them all. It's giant, which as it turns out, isn't enough onion ring. You need more, which is why you're gonna get this whole order of just onion rings for under five bucks. And the Pongo Lumpia served over at the Pongu Pongu counter service in Pandora. This is a little bit on the controversial side of things. Some love this pineapple and cream cheese spring roll, and some believe a spring roll should be reserved for more savory flavor. Flavors, but regardless of where you stand on the spring roll debate, this sweet snack is $3.79 and could be a good option for those not only looking for a quick and fruity treat, but also a quick breakfast that you can chow down on while you're on your way over to Flight of Passage. 
Okay, are you ready to head to the hotels in Disney World? We're of course gonna start with the peanut butter pie. I've talked about this peanut butter pie at Contempo Cafe at Disney's Contemporary Resort many, 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 many times and I'm gonna do it again. Sorry, not sorry. I'm not sure if this counts as cheating because this dessert is technically 19 cents over $5, but if you love peanut butter, the extra 19 cents just might be worth it. Peanut butter pie is a vanilla tart shell filled with a peanut butter custard filling and topped with a chocolate ganache drizzle. And since they changed it up for the 50th anniversary, you've got that peanut butter filling with like a straight chocolate ganache on the top, and it's still really, really good. As good as the old peanut butter pie? No, but it's still really, really good, especially for peanut butter fans. And when it comes to Disney's Contemporary Resort, more often than not, they're coming in clutch with their food offerings, so let's chill at Contempo Cafe for a little bit longer and grab ourselves a monorail cookies and cream cupcake while we're at it. Who's gonna love this cupcake? Anyone who loves Oreos and or the monorail. This cupcake is stacked with cookies and cream icing and topped with a white chocolate monorail. If you've ever fantasized about taking a bite out of the monorail, then A, here's your chance, and B, are you okay? You can order this sweet treat for $4.99. And after you've finished eating at the monorail, you can ride it over to Contemporary's neighboring hotel, Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, hanging out by the pool, just passing through, craving something crunchy and salty, then grab the Polynesian chips from the Captain Cook's quick service location for a mix of house-made potato chips and fried wonton chips for $3.29. When we've ordered these chips in the past, they've not only been satisfyingly salty and crisp, but they've also been served warm, which scores them some bonus points from us. Now, if you're more interested in the wonton chips than the potato chips, you can find solo fried wonton chips served with spicy duck sauce at Barefoot Pool Bar for $4.49 as well. Now, if you happen to be at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort around breakfast time, then I've got a snack under five bucks that you might want to try instead of that standard breakfast muffin. The banana macadamia nut bread is located at the Kona Island Quick Service location. It's got the perfect amount of bread to cinnamon ratio going on here, and the nice moist bread along with a crunch from the macadamia is a good variety for texture. This bread is $3.49, but it's only available during breakfast, so if you want to snag a loaf, hit up Kona Island before 11 a.m. Now back to the peanut butter desserts. At Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, you can find the Nyala Brownie at the quick service location, the Mara. This Nyala Brownie is a fudgy brownie topped with creamy peanut butter icing, plus it's Mickey shaped, so it automatically tastes better, right? Right. Now I must warn you, the Nyala Brownie was impacted by all the price increases that washed over the Disney World menus not too terribly long ago. So although this treat used to be under five bucks, it's now 19 cents over, just like Contempo Cafe's peanut butter pie. If you're not staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge, just might be a little out of the way for you, but if you're going to be a guest here or you have reservations for another restaurant at Animal Kingdom Lodge, then having a pre-meal or post-meal Nyala Brownie could be just what the doctor ordered. And in addition to the Nyala Brownie, you can find the iconic zebra domes at the Mara too. These are small domes made of chocolate mousse and baked with Amarula cream liqueur, a native liqueur of South Africa. They're coated with white chocolate and drizzled in chocolate stripes. The flavor is very similar to a tiramisu, so if that's up your alley, then having a bite-sized version might just hit the spot. One serving comes with four zebra domes, meaning if you wind up not loving them as much as I do, then there's plenty to go around with others there in your travel party. You can purchase a serving for $4.59, which is kind of highway robbery on our part because they are so good and Disney could charge so much more for them. Plus there's alcohol in them, so yeah. All right, heading over to the Boardwalk Bakery. One of the quick service spots at Disney World's Boardwalk Inn Resort is that Boardwalk Bakery, which offers quick and easy bites for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But we've got dessert on the mind today and this bakery provides lots of different sweet treats for under five bucks at all times. A few personal past favorites of ours have been the cannoli, key lime tart, oh I love that key lime tart, and the coconut macaroon. These snacks typically receive small seasonal makeovers around the holidays too, so be on the lookout for those depending on what time of year you're visiting. This probably is another option that you wouldn't necessarily go out of your way for, but if you find yourself strolling around the boardwalk or if you're in Epcot and needing to go someplace just around the bend for a treat, then this is a good spot to try. All right, moving over to Disney Springs, time for Everglazed Donuts. Everglazed Donuts and Cold Brew opened at Disney Springs in 2021 with over-the-top donuts, different flavored cold brews, cereal milk, a grilled cheese donut sandwich that we're still baffled by but we love, and many more indulgent treats. Though some of the fancy donuts can get pretty pricey, other standard flavors fall into the right below five category. Are you still paying more for these donuts than you would at your local donut shop? Yes. But this is Disney World we're talking about, so $4.50 for a donut isn't necessarily unreasonable when it comes to Disney standards. Classic donut options include the traditional glazed, fruity pebbles, ube, strawberry iced, vanilla iced, and chocolate iced. We've particularly enjoyed the fruity pebbles and ube donuts, but it's hard to go wrong with a classic glazed. But I totally get if you'd rather not shell out $4.50 on something you can get in the Dunkin' Donuts drive-thru for a quarter of the price later on, to each their own. 
but this one is definitely a must do. Sprinkles Cupcakes. In Disney Springs, we've got Everglazed for the donuts, Gideon's for the cookies, and Sprinkles for those cupcakes. Sprinkles turns out dozens of different types of regular and specialty cupcakes with prices starting at five bucks. A few of the flavors you'll stumble upon here include chocolate marshmallow, triple cinnamon, salty caramel, and gluten-free lemon blueberry. You can order your cupcakes in shop or at the ATM machine just outside the building. That's right, even after Sprinkles closes up shop for the day, this location sells cupcakes almost 24 seven, thanks to the baby pink dessert dispensing ATM machine near the shop's entrance. Now, yes, Sprinkles Cupcakes is a chain. You may have one in your hometown. So if you do, then maybe not drop the five bucks here. You can just get one at home. There's plenty of other things to get in Disney Springs for under five bucks. What, you thought we'd wrap up a video without talking about Dole Whip? Dole Whips come in all shapes, sizes, and flavors, but if you get a simple cup of Dole Whip in its most basic form, then you'll be the proud taste tester of one of Disney's most popular frozen treats for only $4.99. Though pineapple is the standard flavor, you can also get flavors like orange and strawberry at Sunshine Tree Terrace in Magic Kingdom, or coconut and raspberry at Aloha Isle, also in Magic Kingdom. You've got a bunch of other flavors like lime, sometimes even watermelon across the parks and Disney Springs and the hotels as well. Now, let's talk honorable mentions. If you've got a little more flexibility in your budget and you're open to shelling out more than five bucks per snack, I'm gonna include some honorable mentions that didn't quite meet the under five requirement, but still deserve some recognition. I mentioned Pongu Pongu in Disney's Animal Kingdom earlier, but if you decide to order the Pongo Lumpia here, consider throwing in a night blossom slush to wash it down. This brightly colored frozen drink includes flavors of pear, apple, and passion fruit, and is topped with boba balls, adding fun flavor bursts. And you can order this one for $5.99. Now, the Wookiee Cookie is an all-time DFB favorite at Backlot Express in Disney's Hollywood Studios. You can order this enhanced oatmeal cream pie-like dessert for $6.29. This is an oatmeal cookie sandwich filled with sweet, creamy icing and decorated with a chocolate sash to represent Chewbacca. Insert Wookiee noises here. Now this one might qualify more as a meal than a snack because of its large portion, but the chicken fried rice from Yak and Yeti Local Foods Cafe is a simple and delicious option in Disney's Animal Kingdom for just six bucks. It is great. Remember how much I love Caramel Kusha and Epcot? Well, in in case you don't, let me remind you by also bringing up one of my all-time favorite cupcakes, the Caramel Cupcake. It's a salted caramel cupcake. It's really, really good, which you can order here for $5.99. This one has a rich caramel icing on top of a dense chocolate cake. Oh, and did I mention it's also currently decked out with a chocolate 50th anniversary medallion? Hey, lucky you, there's an extra. Now the Cheshire Cattail is another DFB favorite. This is a simple chocolate pastry drizzled with pink and purple icing. You can find it at Cheshire Cafe in Magic Kingdom for around six bucks. And I will tell you, it tastes much better than you think. It's more than what you bargained for. And all throughout Disney World, you can find those prepackaged Rice Krispie treats. These are eh, fine, but if you go for the fresh ones in the bakery cases located throughout the parks, you'll have an ooey gooey, rich and chewy Mickey shaped snack to go. Now, will I ever stop talking about cookies from Gideon's Bakehouse? The answer the answer is no, no I will not. These massive cookies have made a name for themselves in Disney Springs. Although the classic options like the chocolate chip and the peanut butter crunch will give you that overabundance of cookie to topping ratio, you should also keep an eye out for the unique monthly cookies they release. My favorite is the lemon poppy seed. Each cookie costs around $6. Now we've got a few upgrades for you, and these are upgrades for under $2. Plenty of Disney Eats are incredible on their own, but sometimes you might wanna spruce things up a bit, and that's where these inexpensive upgrades come into play. If you're ordering an ice cream sundae, don't be afraid to double down on the toppings. You can add extra hot fudge, sometimes peanut butter sauce or caramel from the Plaza Ice Cream Parlor in Magic Kingdom for an extra 69 cents. Another amazing sweet upgrade comes in the form of little frosting tubs from Gideon's Bakehouse. These cost a buck 50 and could be eaten on their own with just a spoon, guys. I have done it many times. Now, you can upgrade your Sammy at Everglazed Donuts for a buck by using a glazed donut as the bun. Remember that donut grilled cheese I mentioned earlier? Yeah, still baffled, but it works. And of course, I can't forget my very favorite plastic cheese. Add some extra gooey melty cheese to your corn dog nuggets, fries, onion rings, burgers, chicken fingers for just a dollar. And there you have it, 25 snacks under five bucks, along with some close contenders and some bonus upgrades. Remember that Disney is always changing up its menus and that includes prices. Lucky for you, we post a weekly update on DisneyFoodBlog.com that outlines every single menu change that's taken place that week in Disney World's restaurants. So you can find all the need to know information with just a few taps on your phone or a few clicks on your computer. Sign up for that newsletter, everybody. It is where you're gonna get all the details. Now, if you want this whole list for free, 
free right in your inbox, go ahead to DisneyFoodBlog.com slash $5 snacks. Drop us your email completely free and we'll get you this whole list to your inbox. We'll also sign you up for our DFB newsletter, which is where you're going to get all those updated deals. Thanks for listening, everyone. Thanks for watching. As always, this is AJ for Disney Food Blog and we'll see you real soon.